I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it on the news. The football player who was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings was in a car accident. Three former football players were killed when a speeding car hit them this morning in Upper Marlboro. One of the players was a rookie NFL quarterback. Inside that car, 23-year-old Isaiah Hazel, 24-year-old Anthony Litton Jr., and 24-year-old Kyrie Jackson. All three were wise high, high school alumni. Jackson was just drafted by the Minnesota Vikings this year. Those in Prince George's County and across the country are just beginning to react to this tragedy. The reason why I'm talking about this is because it was in my area. I live in Maryland. There's a lot of different reports out saying a lot of different things about what happened. But what I read, which I'm not saying it's facts, they were out, they were driving a charger. The person that they were racing was driving an infinity. Something happened and they clipped the back of the charger and they lost control. The force of the crash was evident. The toll in human life, a heavy one. Three people who were in this Dodge Charger were killed around 3.15 this morning on northbound Route 4 near Dower House Road in Upper Marlboro. According to state police, the Charger was struck by a woman driving the Silver Infinity as she tried to change lanes while traveling at a high rate of speed. Her car also struck a Chevy Impala, whose lone occupant, the driver, was not injured. The preliminary investigation shows the Charger went off the road into several tree stumps. The bottom line is they lost their life. You have to be careful in these cars. You have to be careful in any car. The driver was 23-year-old Isaiah Hazel of Upper Marlboro. 24-year-old Kyrie Jackson of Waldorf was the front seat passenger. Both died at the scene. 24-year-old Anthony Litton, a backseat passenger, died later at a hospital. All three were former football players at Wise High School. Kyrie Jackson was a rookie cornerback for the Minnesota Vikings. He always had high aspirations. His grandfather, Anthony Jackson, was among the friends and family members of the victims who came to the scene. His grandfather recalls how proud they all were of Kyrie Jackson's achievements. Doing the best that he could possibly do mm -hmm. in, in, in life and with the family. Driving at a high rate of speed on the highway is very dangerous. And we just keep seeing incidents where people are losing their life. There was another story saying that the person in the Infinity was drunk and clip their charger, and that's how they lost control and crashed. As police began their investigation into the deadly crash, loved ones of the victims began to deal with the loss. We're gonna try to, to get through this as best as we possibly can. The driver of the third vehicle that was struck was uninjured. State police say the driver of the Infinity, identified as 23-year-old Corey Klingman, and two passengers in her car were also uninjured. Police say alcohol may have been a factor in the crash. Well, my message is this, guys. We got to be careful when we out here on these roads. I, we all like to have fun. I know we all like to see what our cars can do, but we have to save it for the track because it's just too many instances now where people are losing their life off of things that could have been prevented. It's unfortunate for these guys. They all play football together. They all went to high school together. They all went to college. This is not an incident where some thug was racing and he crashed, he was driving a stolen Hellcat or a scat pack and they crashed. It's not one of those stories because that's what people always want to go to. The people that were driving the car were not thugs and the car was not stolen. You gotta be careful when we riding around in these cars. I know they're a lot of fun, they got a lot of power. Real tempting to race. That's why I try to tell you guys, I'm not perfect. I try to be, make sure I'm safe as possible if I decide to do a little pull or if I decide I want to um, burn a little rubber, try to make sure nobody's around me and I'm in a, a secluded area where just in case something happens, I'm the only one that's going to pay the price. And a lot of times we also have to understand that these Infinities, these Nissans, these Camrys, those cars are not performance cars. You cannot be driving those cars like they're Chargers or like they're Indy cars. Those cars aren't built for that type of driving. Even though on the commercials, they make it seem like those cars, you can drive them like people drive Chargers and, and Challengers and stuff. But these those cars aren't built for that type of driving. And I think that's where a lot of people get it wrong. They want to ride around in these Infinities and these, these Camrys and these Hondas and drive them like they driving around in a high performance Hellcat, Mustang, or any kind of muscle car. They want to drive them like they're muscle cars. They're not muscle cars. So any slight wrong movement, those cars are going to leave the road. 
They're gonna lose traction because first of all, they got them little tires on them. RIP, and I send my condolences to the family because that's a sad situation. I, I played college football. I know y'all might not know that. A lot of people might not know that, especially if you're new to the channel. I played college football. I know how hard it is to get to that level and to actually play and then get drafted and then lose your life to something tragic like this. It's sad, man, and I, and I feel for them, man, because I, I know the hard work it takes to make it to that level. And I'm pretty sure that their family is heartbroken. So we have to be careful, guys. When we're out doing things and we, we're in our zone and we're having fun, we have to also remember the loved ones we have back home who are waiting for us to make a home that day or that night. So we have to be, we have to police ourselves and we have to be conscious of what we're doing at all times. And again, I'm not blaming them for what happened. It's a sad, tragic situation. And it can happen to anybody. Anything can happen. So leave your comments, guys. Let me know what y'all think, man. We have to do better when it comes to these this street racing and, and driving these cars recklessly. You know, a lot of people come to the, my channel always talking trash, talking about how slow a car is, and this car that, this car this, bruh. Nobody cares about that stuff, man. I buy my cars because this is what I want. Didn't buy it to be the fastest guy on the street. Leave your comments, man. Let me know what y'all think. Witnesses say the Chevy Malibu was going well over 100 miles per hour. The driver losing control and flipping multiple times. One witness tells me he believes the car rolled over about 10 times. They also say the driver was ejected from the car. Warned police say a traffic stop for speeding led up to this crash. Police say when officers attempted to pull him over, the driver took off. Because of the speed he was going, one police say they called off the pursuit. It appears uh, initial investigation, the uh, subject lost control as he was driving uh, westbound on Outer Drive. Uh, struck the curb and at that time his uh, vehicle began to roll over. Suspect allegedly tried to use someone's social security number to buy a Hellcat.